Now at noon, new surveillance video just into our newsroom of a school bus with students on board slamming into an SUV in West Philadelphia. We're told that there were three high school students on the bus at the time of that crash. Good afternoon to you. I'm Janelle Burrell. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, streaming live on CBS News Philadelphia. That accident happening at 52nd and Spruce Streets in West Philadelphia this morning during the morning rush. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is live at the scene for us with the latest on the injuries and also the investigation now underway. Good afternoon, Jasmine. Good afternoon, Janelle. You can still see the debris from that crash all across this intersection. There is glass on the ground and beside me a mangled door from the SUV involved in that crash. We're told three high school students were on the school bus when this crash happened. Surveillance video showing just how intense this crash was. Take a look. This happened around 6 o'clock Tuesday morning on South 52nd and Spruce Streets. Video obtained by Eyewitness News shows the SUV driving through the intersection when it's hit by the bus. The impact slamming it into the side of a nearby vacant building. Two people inside the SUV were taken to a nearby hospital for unknown injuries. Three students, along with the driver and a bus attendant, were on board at the time. They were all headed to Dobbins Tech High School. Paramedics took the students to the hospital to get checked out. People nearby say they were visibly shaken while the adults remained on scene. People say they heard the commotion. They reacted to the news. Oh my God, it looked so horrific. And when I seen the school bus, I'm like, I hope there's no children on the bus. And then the van, I'm like, I pray they made it out fine, you know. My concern was always about, the, you know, the catastrophic stuff. Outside of that, you know, I just prayed for them. Is this, how would you describe this intersection? Hectic. A lot of time they blow through the lights. People are such in a rush and there's, people are just rude today. They just don't have any compassion or patience for anything. In a statement, the school district of Philadelphia said in part, the safety of our students and staff is a top priority for the district. We are grateful for the support of the first responders who assisted following the incident and evaluated students. Back here live, the official cause of this crash is still under investigation. We're live in West Philadelphia. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, hoping everybody there is okay. Jasmine, thank you for that.